Hello fellow tankers, this is Dauntless, and first and foremost, I need to apologize to everybody for uh, just leaving my channel unexpected. I don't think I've uploaded a video for over a year now, and you know, truth be told, I was very, very burnt out playing this game because I made it more like work where I was trying to upload a lot more regularly and making guides, all that stuff. It ended up taking a lot of time making those videos for you guys, and I just, you know, between school uh, moving back to my hometown, finding an apartment, finding a job, recently had a baby uh, with my wife. Um, all of these factors had to do with taking a break from this game for a little bit. And um, recently my brother-in-law reached out to me and he asked me if I would like to play a few games. I said sure, and all of a sudden I'm back in tanks, I'm enjoying it again, which is great. And I've had a few good games so far and I just decided, hey, why not, I think I'm going to start um, uploading some more gameplay for you guys and alongside that I would like to start streaming on Twitch as well I know some of you follow me there and I've never streamed before and I'm a little bit intimidated by the thought of doing so but I don't think uh, it would be a bad idea since I'm on here uh, quite a bit now um, I might as well share my gameplay and what I can do and uh, everything like that um, <laughs> a little bit of a poor shot from my part, uh, the KV-2R gun is quite derpy, but it's okay. It's always worth taking the shot if you have the opportunity. You know, that pesky little scout is going to try to get into um, our base and kill our arty. I'm following up for a second shot now. He's making a little bit of a misplay here, just sitting still. And <laughs> what can you say? You got to love the derp, right? Anyway, I am on the map. Minsk with my newly acquired KV-2R, and I am pushing the 1-2 line with um, a few of my tank buddies over here. Looks like I have a Lorraine. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing back there. I think he's trying to be sneaky, maybe getting a shot from distance. I'm not really sure, but I'm kind of looking at the matchup here, and I'm realizing that this flank is going to fall with a Nashorn who, you know, pretty much has no armor whatsoever and 600 HP. In a tier 8 matchup, if anything else pushes, that TVP is probably full life. And then the Krami B, even though I don't want to abandon him, he is um, a one-shot. And so I decide with my 20-second reload, it's probably in my best interest to fall back um, on the map here. I'll point out with my crosshairs, this uh, A2 area, maybe it's right between A1, A2, um, you can see right here in the corner, there's a bunker, and there are bushes on either side. It's the most overpowered uh, defensive location on this map, in my opinion, and it makes this area extremely strong, as long as you have a tank with some camouflage and, um, I guess, I don't know, common sense, I guess. And so I decide that it's in my best interest to fall back and help out our team from afar, because the second I fire, and if they rush me, I'm not going to ever get a second chance to shoot again. And our Lorraine kind of has the same idea, I think. He knocked down some trees there, and he is in a position to try to fire. I get myself situated. I'm unspotted. As far as they know, I'm just hiding behind that brick wall right here. And so I'm really hoping that they'll just push right into me. And for now, I'm going to lay back and wait. It looks like our city is doing better. It kind of looks like maybe it's an even match, but we're definitely losing in this flank. And as a low tier, well, bottom tier heavy tank, with a very good gun, it's definitely in my best interest right now to play defense and not too aggressively. Um, anyway, we're going to wait to see kind of what happens here, but I wanted to update you guys with kind of what I had planned for my channel. There is a sneaky little PvP firing HE. <laughs> Gotta love it. Nice pen for 880 alpha damage there. I'm really hoping the Lorraine will be able to finish him off, but it looks like he is lit and he is trying to get away. He's taking some fire from the kb2 it looks like um, anyway long reload i know i'm unlit at this point so i'm going to peek back out hoping to get a second shot into that guy to finish him off anyway like i was saying about my channel um i don't want to get burnt out again and i think the main reason i was getting burnt out was i was trying to upload guides all the time and making guides you know it took a long time it took probably over 10 hours per guide video that I would make and that would be time I would spend because I would use other people's replays I would find on what replays and my replay um, games as well 
And the problem with World of Tanks now, in the way it is, is um, a lot of my re my old guides are kind of obsolete in terms of light tank guides, just because the maps have been changed so drastically. And on top of that, it looks like there's been micro patches just constantly happening, maybe once per week. And because of that, any good light tank match I get where I get good scouting and I want to show you guys the other half of the map for me to have a good light tank match in that as well you got to have you know I try to show both sides it usually doesn't happen um, okay we do that's a bad idea anyway <laughs> so what I might do is I might start making like scout guides 2.0 with the new matchup with the new uh, you know the HD maps and do half guides so if I have a good game in a light tank on one half of the map I'll just show that as side A and then if I get side B at some point I will upload that as well if you guys think that's a good idea I would appreciate your feedback uh, give me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think um, you probably also realize that I have a webcam now uh, and I plan to be I bought that specifically to stream with and who knows if you guys enjoy looking at my mug or not but I feel like for streaming it's essential to have some kind of camera i actually have some lighting ordered as well so it won't be this harsh light that i have for my window coming in here um, so frequently and again this is all kind of a new setup for me so let me know what you think about like the audio quality everything like that i'm going to be doing things a little bit differently now trying to streamline what i'm doing so i don't get so bogged down with everything like that so on to the next point of what i want to do with this channel um, and i say channel i guess more of my social presence in terms of streaming and YouTube content. I hope to upload maybe two or three videos a week, but I'm gonna do it a lot more casually instead of making a lot of intense guides and spending hours and hours going over replays and making clips. I'm gonna do it again a little bit more casually because I, I work almost 50 hours a week and I have a baby. <laughs> and so with all those things, and I have to have some kind of social life as well, I really don't have the time to be sitting here for 20 hours to make you know a couple videos every week and so again if I can spend minimal time here but still create good content um, I think that would be ideal for all of us that way I don't get burnt out again right uh, so I had a few ideas uh, and I do uh, play a few other games or I have in the past anyway and one of those games is overwatch and I have watched a lot of youtubers play overwatch in the way they uh, break down gameplay and this is a Nice, juicy Scorpion. This is kind of what you want to see when you're playing in the KV-2. I approached him a little bit differently, um, as you can see here, uh, from behind. They can't get through here, and so I hopped down, knowing that he probably wouldn't be uh, expecting that. And I was able to put a nice shot, and I'm really hoping here the Lorraine can secure the kill on the Scorpion G. It would be a wonderful thing, just so I don't have to deal with him and take a hit. All right, there we go. So it looks like the other side of the map, kind of the side track here, is doing okay, but it looks like they are being pushed, meaning we're probably going to lose that side. So it is in my best interest to um, get to their base, start capping some, start applying some pressure, do what I can to win this for our team. Uh, anyway, <laughs> like I was saying, uh, Overwatch, there's a popular YouTuber, his name is Jane, and he produces a lot of good content, he streams a lot for Overwatch, and I love his content, he's very popular in that community, and I think one of the main reasons for that is that um, he does some fun stuff on his live streams, he does Guess My SR, uh, SR is the competitive points that you can earn in Overwatch, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a spin on that, um, Guess My Win 8 maybe, or Win Rate, or anything like that, with a World of Tanks account. And if you guys think that's a good idea, I'll put my email address in the link below and you guys can submit replays to me. Hopefully they're recent just so I can actually watch them because the patches obviously um, are quite frequent and I won't be able to otherwise. But you guys can send me replays. I'll find one that I think is interesting. I'll watch it. And during that, I'll make commentaries on the player's positioning, accuracy, all that stuff. And with that in mind, I will make an educated guess on what I think that player's win aid is. Um, and again, I think it might be kind of fun to do something like that. That way, I'm actually breaking down the player's gameplay, and it might he might surprise me as being, you know, not a good player, great player, who knows? Uh, but I think that that might be kind of fun. Uh, and also, it'll give you guys a chance uh, to have your gameplay kind of broken down by yours truly. So let me know if you guys think that's a good idea or not. I also think that doing a live Q&A session on stream might be kind of fun or Q&A 
uh, via leaving me comments. So I might upload some videos because I know you guys are curious about maybe some personal questions about you know my life or who knows my favorite tank, what I enjoy. I don't know. You guys ask me a lot of questions, so it might be kind of fun to do something along those lines as well. Um, it might be fun to do kind of a react. I know they do that um, on other YouTube channels where, you know, so-and-so famous uh, streamer reacts to some videos. So if you have some crazy RNG shots, um, send me 30-second clips, that kind of thing. That might be fun as well to commentate on. Um, going back to the game here, we're kind of towards the end. Uh, looks like they have a King Tiger. Kind of a bad shot on my part. I should have waited a little bit longer. Looks like we have 30 seconds to cap. They have two vehicles left as well as, uh, and we have three vehicles left, including our artillery. Um, their T25 AT is a good player. And hindsight, uh, I should have aimed the shot a little bit better as well, but I don't know if it would have helped. It looks like it hit that fence, and that's the problem with shooting high explosive shots. Um, it's coming down to the wire here. The Lorraine, my Lorraine buddy who kind of followed me around all game has died and I am left in a 2v1 situation. Um, Artie might be able to help me out here. 9 HP, uh, T25 AT left um, and artillery should be able to finish him off for me. But if not, that King Tiger is getting close and it looks like he's gonna try to flank me. I need to eliminate one of these guns and I'm gonna take a little bit of a risky shot here. But he turns around here. I know I need to make the shot. I kind of make a clutch shot there. If that had missed, I would have definitely lost this game. Now the Tiger is directly behind me and I need to get away from him as quickly as possible. That King Tiger, one of the new tier seven German heavy tanks, has a very quick reload. Now it's down to a one shot and it's kind of down to the wire here. Am I going to reload in time? And yes, I am. Looks like artillery hit him as well right after that. Um, in any case, that was a pretty fun game. I had in my KB2R five kills, a 38, almost 3,900 damage, which is pretty good for a KB2. Had some cool uh, shots there as well, especially in the beginning on that light tank. Um, anyway, gameplay aside, I uh, just wanted to get back to chatting with you guys about my channel. So I'll finish this up really quick, but... Um, other than that, I mean, I still want to do guides once in a while, but again, a lot more casually. When I have a good light tank game, I want to show you guys those light tank positions. So I'll try to upload those. I don't know. Again, give me feedback down below because you guys, your opinion is what matters the most to me. I want to give you content that you enjoy watching. So, you know, let me know about Guess My Win 8 if you think that would be fun to um, send me replays. Again, if you do, I'll leave my email down below. Give me a brief summary of what the game is like um, and what tank you're playing, etc. Uh, and I'll try to go through some of them and record one, see what happens. Um, other than that, if you think Q&As would be fun, a React video would be fun. Um, and again, obviously I'll do my standard replays of good games that I have, as well as um, doing scout guides, light tank guides, because I know that's what you guys would like. Other than that, I'm going to be more, I'm going to try to be more regular about streaming, but again, I'm kind of new to this, so bear with me. Um, if you guys could encourage me when you see me on stream, um, I know there's like that new Twitch, uh, subscribe, yeah, subscribe, right? Twitch Prime that you can do. Any of those things would, again, I'm really new to it, so I have no idea how it works. I'm still researching it, but, um, any encouragement I could get from you guys would be amazing. So that being said, um, really not a whole lot left to say anymore. I'll try to be more regular with you guys and be more open about where I'm at, uh, with my life and with this channel. So uh, thanks again for watching guys. If you liked uh, this video, which I guess hopefully you guys enjoy me coming back uh, to YouTube, um, hit a like down below, show me some love, let me know that uh, this is something that you want me to keep doing uh, and I will catch you guys in the next video.